what makes our job at the National School of Government challenging, yet exciting, is that the South African public has a very high standard of performance for government officials. And rightfully so, because we are supposed to serve the people and manage the resources that their taxes have paid for. Therefore, there's an expectation from the public that when we do our jobs, we do so ethically. There's another compelling reason why we need to always do what is right. The Constitution requires a high standard of professional ethics in the public service. If officials behave ethically and with integrity, we will begin to eradicate much of the fraud and corruption prevalent in the public service. The question to be asked is, do officials know what is right and wrong? Most do, but not always. Fortunately, we have the Public Service Code of Conduct that helps guide us in promoting ethical behaviour. A challenge is that even though we have clear ethics prescripts and codes and regulations, we have seen that these do not automatically change values and behaviour of officials. So at the National School of Government, we decided that together with the Department of Public Service and Administration and the Public Service Commission to design an ethics online course that gets officials to reflect on their actions and always strive to do the right thing. Though most officials in government are ethical, unfortunately, some amongst us have brought the public service into disrepute. One of the ways of acknowledging the need to regain the public's trust is to encourage all officials to do the ethics course. There has been a dramatic increase in the uptake in the last couple of years. More than 66,000 public servants completed the course to date. In the last financial year, it was 54,000 and the year before that, it was 10,000. The numbers are increasing and those who have done the course found it to be very impactful. One official even said that it was a hard punch to his gut because he hadn't realized that some of the things that he was doing was unethical. This is the kind of reaction we welcome. We hope that this training will help to prevent ethical breaches in the workplace. Please take a look at our brochure and enroll for the course.